Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is Rahul here from this side working as a corporate treasurer in Excel. And today we are going to speak about one of the exclusive topics that happened the last week which is known as the goodwill impairment testing of Tata's. Although the two big companies in India which is Tata's and Vedanta. Vedanta is a British listed company. The board went, went for an impairment. But today exclusively we are going to speak about one company which is Tata. Tata the impairment of rupees 5000 crore goodwill. I am talking about it is an impairment of rupees 5000 crores goodwill by Tata's. Now what do you mean by goodwill? First of all we need to understand what do you mean by goodwill. Goodwill is nothing but an intangible asset which you create in your books because of your acquisitions. Now take a very simple example. Everybody is aware about the fact that the Tata Steel did an acquisition of Chorus by paying roughly 12 billion dollars. Now that 12 billion dollars of acquisition with Tata's debt, I am assuming that this 12 billion do not have any earn out. Earn out stands for, for contingent consideration. So here I am strictly assuming that there is no earn out in this or any or any contingent consideration in this deal. Now when Tata paid that, now assume the Tata paid 12 billion dollar and they, and they received and they received the asset worth of 10 billion dollars. So they created a goodwill which is of 2 billion dollars and that would be is going to be is going to be an asset in the, in the books of Tata. Now over the period core is falling. Why steel production is falling, prices are falling, cost is rising, lot of plants are shut down, the technology which you are using is not as competent as the technology of China. Take it other way. China is using an enhanced technology versus chorus. So the cost of production is low, the prices they are getting is higher or the, or the margin is getting higher. Here I am not, here I am not taking into consideration the, the fact of the commodity prices. Now commodity prices play a very important role. If we can start a series is nothing but a commodity company. We know that from the last several years commodity prices have fallen a lot. Now because of the falling in the commodity prices, the valuation of Tata or the valuation of Chorus is falling. Because Chorus valuation is falling, that would hit the case of Goodwill. Now once they recorded the Goodwill of 2 billion, Goodwill is an intangible asset which is, going to, which is not going to amortize, which is going to be impaired. And please note that Goodwill can only, only be amortized, sorry, Goodwill can only be impaired via two ways. It's going to be quantitative testing or it's going to be a qualitative testing. If it is going to be a quantitative testing, then there are various steps in that. If it is going to be a qualitative testing, it's going to have various steps. And goodwill is going to be um, uh, going to be impaired at reporting unit level. I'm assuming that chorus is a reporting unit level for Tata or the complete setup, which is the Tata Steel. Now goodwill has fallen because of the currency movement. Sorry, the valuation of chorus has fallen because of the currency movement because of the fall in the commodity prices, because of, uh, because of the better technology by China versus Chorus, nutshell, the entire valuation has fallen. Because the valuation has fallen, Tata need to look at the goodwill of, goodwill of Chorus. Now, if they, now, today they found out that the 2 billion of goodwill which they recorded is now stands 1.5 billion dollar. So, 0.5 billion to be impaired in the books and that impaired is going to hit the PNL. So this is the profit and loss account and this is here the debit side come goodwill impaired. This is come the goodwill impaired. That is how the things would move. Please be note that as a corporate treasurer, I'm stressing on the fact that goodwill impairment is turning out to be a very important issue for corporates who are doing an acquisition. Unfortunately, majority of the acquisitions which are happening in India or outside India, they do not take this goodwill into consideration. They do not take earn outs into consideration. But we need to understand the one fact which is very carefully that earn outs which is nothing but contingent consideration and goodwill which is nothing but the difference you paid minus what the considerations you received which is of course net off and obviously take the valuation of non-controlling interest into consideration this would have a big impact in your books and please be note that although the impairment of the goodwill is non-cash but still this would hit the profitability of the company the top line the bottom line and the middle line all three is going to hit the show and once all three would hit the show things are going to fail in nutshell i would like to stress the fact that if you are doing any mna please take a note into consideration 
प्लीज टेक गुड विल इन टू कंसिडरेशन डो नॉट पे अ बिग अमाउंट until unless you are sure that goodwill is not going to write off and if goodwill is going to write off you know what's going to happen and if you know what's going to happen this would be a history thank you very much i'm round here you most welcome to contact me at 9899242978 that's my personal number you can give me a call and if you if you have any other issue i'm happy to connect that thank you very much